Welcome back everyone. This is Wasad TV and you're with Zeal Patel and Celeste Ortiz. I'll be the voice of Zeal today. This is video two in the Barcelona Pavilion video series. If you're new to this series, please check our previous videos. In this video, we will insert the floor plan that we measured with the architectural scale into AutoCAD and align the drawing so you can use it as a template to create your design. You can also look for floor plans online and use the measurement they provide you online with to align the image. So without further ado, let's align our drawing. Since I measure the floor plan with my architectural scale, I know the dimensions of the pavilion. But as a reference, we're gonna insert the image of the floor plan into AutoCAD. And to do so, you'll have to go to Insert tab on the ribbon and then click on Attach. From there, you'll have to select your image, which you can download by going to the link in the description below. After you've selected your image, click Open. Once you do that, you'll have to align the image to the actual size of the pavilion. I've already aligned my image, but just because it's you, I'll do it again. I was able to find a drawing that had the floor plan and elevations on one sheet so I can use any side to align. On my floor plan, the depth is about 177 feet and 10 inches. Because I'm creating a 3D model, we don't have to be exact. Architects will never use a 3D model to measure from. 3D models are created for showing clients how the design will look like in 3D. And it's pretty cool to have a 3D representation of your drawings. Architects measure from construction documents, which have the actual dimensions on them. Step one, create a line that is the actual size of one part of the wall. Step two, next to the image, create a line with the actual dimensions of that same wall or side. Next, select your image and the line created on the image. Type in a line in the command bar and press enter. Select your first source point, which is the line on your image file. Then select your first destination, which is the actual line that you will create with actual measurements. Select your second source point, then select your second destination point. There is no third source point, so press enter. Select yes or press enter to align the image to the actual side. Use the measure geom distance option to check that the original object line and image file is aligned to the new dimensions. Make sure to remember what points you chose first for your source points and destination points. For example, if you choose the top point of the first line source point, make sure to choose the top point of the first destination point and vice versa. And your image is aligned to the actual size of the pavilion. Pretty easy, right? And that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll start drawing our floor plan and assign layers to each component of the Barcelona pavilion. Hope you enjoyed and learned something. Until then, goodbye and have a good one.